As you probably know, I get endless emails from retroactive jealousy sufferers from all over the world. In particular, a lot of men write to me saying that their girlfriend's past relationships are killing them. In most of these cases, there's a specific thought experiment that I would recommend that I think could be really helpful in this scenario. So if you feel like your girlfriend's past relationships are absolutely killing you, I think you're going to want to see the rest of this video. If you don't know who I am, my name is Zachary Stockhill, and since 2013, I've been helping men and women from all over the world overcome retroactive jealousy, overcome obsessive jealousy, and save their relationships. If you'd like to work with me one-on-one -on -one, or you'd like more information about my work, please visit my website at retroactivejealousy.com. By the way, for all of the people watching this who don't know what the heck the word or the term retroactive jealousy means, the term retroactive jealousy basically just refers to unwanted intrusive thoughts, sometimes obsessive curiosity, and what I call mental movies regarding a partner's past relationships and or sexual history. It's a serious problem that plagues thousands and thousands of people from all over the world, but many people still aren't familiar with that term, retroactive jealousy. Anyway, if you're really struggling with the fact of your girlfriend's past relationships and or her sexual history, and if you're wavering on the point of, you know, should I stay or should I go? Is this a deal breaker or is it not? If that sounds familiar, if that describes your, your current situation, I want you to try this thought experiment. So just imagine that the intrusive thoughts are completely gone. Pretend that there's a switch in your brain that you can kind of just flick and you'll never have those thoughts again. Those thoughts are just gone. You're never gonna be struggling with the obsessive curiosity and the need to know more. You're never gonna have that urge to ask questions. No more mental movies. It's completely out of your life, it's not an issue. However, the truth of your girlfriend's past is still the same. In other words, all that stuff still happened. She still has her past, you know, whatever it looks like, whatever happened, that's still all true, but you never think about it. It still happened, but it's completely not an issue in your life because you never think about it. In this thought experiment, in this imaginary world that I'm creating, I ask you, you still may not love your girlfriend's past, but can you live with it? You don't have to love it, but you should be able to just live with it. Or should I say, if you want to stay in your relationship, you should be able to live with it. Now, I wanted to relate this thought experiment because I think it brings up a really important point, a really important perspective. At a certain point, when you're struggling with retroactive jealousy, whether you're male, female, whatever, you know, whatever you're troubled by, if you're struggling with retroactive jealousy, at a certain point, it's about making that choice. It's about saying, I may not love my partner's past, but can I live with it? Can I live with this person's past? I may not love it, I don't have to love it, but can I live with it? Now, obviously making that decision isn't always so easy. Obviously there's often a lot of variables involved. And so I'll take this opportunity to plug my newly released masterclass. It's called The Path to Peace. As far as I know, it's the only course on the market, the only online course on the market designed specifically for retroactive jealousy sufferers struggling with this question of is my partner's past actually a deal breaker? Can I live with this? Are there actually red flags? Is her past or his past actually a deal breaker? Click the link in the description if you wanna learn about my newly released masterclass, The Path to Peace. But my basic point is once you make your decision, you know, through whichever means you want, but once you make that decision, you really have to stick with it. One thing I've learned is that I think it becomes so much harder to overcome retroactive jealousy if you're still struggling with the values question, if you're still struggling with the question of whether or not your partner's past is actually a deal breaker. Those are the cases that are really the most complicated and those are the people who have the hardest time moving through this. Because on the one hand, they're trying to do everything that works. Maybe they sign up for one of my courses or you know, they're doing all the things that are working you know, in terms of eliminating intrusive thoughts, no more curiosity, no more mental movies, et cetera, et cetera. But at the same time, they think, at least in the back of their head, Maybe my girlfriend's past is actually a deal breaker. Maybe I can't actually live with this. Obviously, I'm not gonna tell you that your decision, as far as that goes, is right or wrong. That's not my job to tell you if it's right or wrong. It is my job to tell you, I think, that if you wanna save your relationship, you simply have to come up with the answer to that question. And if the answer is you can't live with it, unfortunately, it's probably time to move on. If, on the other hand, you make the decision to stay, either with my help, either you, know, you go through the path to peace or you go through someone else's course or you talk to a therapist or coach. If you make the decision to stay, try to stick with your decision. I think wavering on this question makes overcoming retroactive jealousy so much more difficult. And if you're still dealing with the intrusive thoughts, the irrational curiosity, the mental movies, don't let that sway your decision. Obviously dealing with the classic symptoms of retroactive jealousy 
is enormously painful, it's hell, and it can really skew our perspective on what's important, what's a deal breaker, and what's not. So in your calmest, most rational moments through whichever process you want, come up with an answer to this question. Can I live with this? Can I live with the truth of what happened? Because I'm telling you, that will make overcoming retroactive jealousy so much simpler and easier. In fact, over 10 years of coaching, one thing that I found in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of one-on-one -on -one calls with retroactive jealousy sufferers from all over the world is that that's really one of the first things that we need to get clear on in the client-coach relationship. Are you deciding to stay or go? Is your partner's past really that troubling? Are there genuine red flags here that we need to investigate, that we need to discuss, that we need to explore? Because I know once I help the person get the clarity on that question, it makes everything else so much simpler, so much easier. So that's it. If your girlfriend's past relationships are killing you, try this thought experiment. Imagine there's no more intrusive thoughts. Imagine there's no more mental movies. The truth of your partner's past remains the same. Can you live with it? Because answering that question for yourself is going to make everything that comes after so much easier. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you got anything out of this video today, please take a minute to let me know by clicking the like button below. I'll also ask you to please leave a comment beneath this video telling me what you think. Good, bad, ugly. I would appreciate your thoughts. While you're at it, please be sure you are subscribed to my channel as well to be notified of new videos moving forward. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.